Welcome to the Ellsworth Kindergarten Preview Presentation. Our hope was that we could all be together on March the 13th to actually meet you face to face, but due to our COVID cancellation, we thought that we would offer you an audio presentation just to provide you with more information about our Kindergarten Preview Program. My name is Cheryl DeGan, and I'm the principal at Ellsworth Elementary. This is my fifth year at Ellsworth, and prior to Ellsworth, I was a principal at Highlands Elementary. I have been a third grade teacher, a fifth grade teacher, and a gifted teacher here in the district as well. And I also had two children who went to Ellsworth Elementary about 30 years ago. Our outcomes for today is to begin a conversation about your child that we will continue for the next six years together and to provide you more information about our kindergarten program and what you need to do to enter into the school year. Our kindergarten program offers skilled teachers prepared to meet the needs of our young students and you will hear from them later in the presentation. We offer an excellent curriculum and resources to go along to support that curriculum, multiple opportunities for our children to learn and grow, and a developmentally appropriate learning environment. You do need to enroll your child in the kindergarten program, and what you need to do is visit our district website at www.naperville203.org looking up at the top tab to services and then kindergarten enrollment. And here you'll find more inf information about specifically what you need to do. And what you need to do first is to click on the intake form and answer the questions there. And you will have a confirmation email sent to you about the next steps. So your child must be five years old on or before September the 1st, 2020. And all students will have to verify their residency through the online enrollment process. Most of that you can do, you can go ahead and upload that online. But after the governor lifts our stay at home order, our district office will begin to have hours where you can come in and you will actually need to come in to bring your child's birth certificate. The best way to follow up on the latest there is to again, go to the district website and then you can keep track of what the enrollment office hours will be. May you choose a half day. By, through Illinois law, families do have the option of choosing a half-day program. Um, certainly as we transitioned into a full-day program a few years ago, some families did find that they wanted that option, but there's very few now who do request that. If this is something that you wanted to know more about, I ask that you email me, and my email will be on the last slide, and then we can talk about it. Transportation. Most of Ellsworth is a walking community, but we do have a couple buses that go to the Spring Hill neighborhood. Now, the district provides busing for families who live 1.5 miles or more from their home school, but Spring Hill is bused because Plank Street is so busy. So take a look at, um, at your location Spring Hill right now is the only neighborhood that is bused. Everyone else is a walker. Kindergarten students do have specials just like all of our other students at Ellsworth. They have art once a week for 50 minutes. They have music twice a week for 25 minutes and physical education twice a week as well. What does kindergarten lunch look like? This is usually our most popular question. Our kindergartners eat with the rest of the students. Uh, right now we do have three lunch periods and kindergartners are grouped with first graders. 
but that could change over the summer as well. They do eat lunch with their classmates in a supportive environment, and by a supportive environment, I want to guarantee you that especially those first couple weeks, we do have extra staff that are there in the lunchroom, helping the students carry their lunch trays, helping them unpack everything. Um, so no worries there. We do have lots of extra help there to help our, our new learners to acclimate in the lunchroom. Dual language is an option that you may choose here in District 203. The philosophy of the Naperville School District Dual Language Program is to educate our students to become bilingual, biliterate, and multicultural in this ever-increasing global society. This is something that you could choose. Um, you, if you're interested in this program, I would suggest that you go to the website you would need to enroll your child for the dual language option, and that must be done by May the 15th. This is actually a lottery system, and this would be an option that you could have. Uh, we do not have a dual language program at Ellsworth. Actually, some of our schools who don't have a program within the school, they are bused over to River Woods, and River Woods is the school right now. Take a look at this last bullet point. The dual language program, the class makeup, is approximately 50% students who speak English or other languages at home, and 50% students who speak Spanish at home. So if this, some, this is something that you are interested in, please make sure that you visit this website at www.naperville203.org looking at the dual language and they do have a similar PowerPoint presentation that you can listen to. But the application deadline is Friday, May the 15th. And something that we like to give you a little heads up about is that we transition our kindergartners kindergarten in slowly. So actually their first day, on August the 19th, when all the other students start school, is more of a softer start. Here in the district, we call it a sneak peek for our kindergartners. And what that means is that at Ellsworth School, you'll be invited in at a certain time to come in with your child to take a look at the kindergarten classroom, to unpack some of your supplies, and to meet the teacher so as to make that next full day on August the 20th, one that is a little bit less scary and a little bit more um, inviting. You will receive communication about this sometime during the summer. So we have found that this has been a successful way to get our kiddos just really excited about coming into their new classroom. And now I'm going to turn the presentation over to our school nurse, Mrs. McCabe. Hi, my name is Francine McCabe. I'm the certified school nurse at Ellsworth Elementary School. And I work with Cindy Whitman, who is the health technician. I am there two days a week and Cindy is there um, th uh, five days a week. And we work in the health office. I am just going to do a brief overview on what is expected and what forms are expected in kindergarten. This is my picture. Um, the health requirements for kindergarten are all physical exams and immunization requirements should be fulfilled prior to the first day of school. The exam meet, needs to be performed one year prior to the first day of school and must be completed by a licensed physician, nurse practitioner, or physician's assistant. On the back of the physical exam, there is a health history portion that must be signed by the parent um, for the physical to be valid, and the parent needs to fill it out and needs to be signed. If you don't sign it, 
we over, do a brief overview of the physical and we will send it back to you and just make you aware that you need to sign it. Also, immunizations need to be up to date and verified by the healthcare pr practitioner. Um, and usually in kindergarten, there's maybe one or two that um, kindergartners need before entering uh, school. So your doctor will do a brief overview and then you'll hand the forms into us. We will look them over. And if there is something that is not compliant with the state of Illinois, we will contact you or contact your physician and we can get that solved and you can uh, take your child back and get the immunization that is needed. Another health requirement is the vision exam and it should be fulfilled prior to the first day of school also. This exam must be performed within the first year uh, prior to the first day of school and must be completed by an optometrist or ophthalmologist, not your pedi uh, pediatrician. It needs to be a licensed um, optometrist or ophthalmologist, which is an eye doctor. And this is just because they're entering kindergarten, they're going to be reading and look, doing phonics. So it's really important that their eyesight is keen. The next requirement is a dental exam. And this is, you have a bigger window. Um, you have, it's required by May 15th, 2021, but can be performed within 18, an 18 month period prior to the due date. So basically it's November 15th, 2019 to May 15th, 2021. Um, procedures for ill students, we really encourage attendance. But if your child has a fever of 100 degrees or greater, we ask that you keep them at home and have them you know, rest and do not send them into school. Also, if there's some undiagnosed rash that you don't know where it came from, either take them to your pediatrician, just don't send them into school. We will, um, we will be sending them home if something like that happens. Also, head injuries. We do, um, you know, really um, don't send them to school. There is a back to school protocol in case they do get a concussion of some sort, but we will um, talk about that if that happens. Also pink eye, which is an eye infection in the um, inner corner of the eye that is very contagious and your child needs to be on an antibiotic for 24 hours before coming back to school. That's really important and a lot of young kids do get that and it's highly contagious. Medications, we do keep medications. If your child's on medication, as we keep them in the health office, as long as there's a doctor's order with the name of the medication, the time, um, and the dose. Also, the medication has to come within the bottle that you get it in. And also with allergies, a lot of um, students are on, have epinephrine and Benadryl, and there's an allergy action plan, in, uh, which you can get from your doctor or on the Naperville 203 website that your doctor can fill out, and you just bring that in, and we can we keep the medication locked in the um, health office. Emergency contacts, um, you will be, um, signing your child up online. It's really important to have these emergency contacts up to date because if your child comes into the health office and is sick, we will try you and uh, your spouse um, and then go down the line of the emergency contacts. So it's very important that um, we have the right numbers and the right information so we can contact someone to pick up your child if need be. Um, it's really important. Students must be healthy to be educated and educated to be healthy. Um, it's really important to get them on a schedule, get them to bed at a certain time, have them wake up, have them have a good breakfast. Um, working together is ideal and please feel free to 
to contact myself, Francine McCabe, the school nurse, or Cindy Whitman with any concerns or questions regarding individual student health situations. Hi, um, my name is Amanda Yi. I am one of the kindergarten teachers at Ellsworth, and the other kindergarten teacher is my teammate, Angela Moreau. We are both so excited to welcome your child and family for this upcoming school year. And that's pictures of us and our emails in case you need to contact us. And just a little bit more information on Mrs. Moreau as well. Um, we wanted to start by highlighting just a few things that you could work on with your child this summer to help the transition into kindergarten. Um, social emotional learning is a big focus in kindergarten. So some things you could be doing at home um, is playing games with your child. Playing games is a great way to develop important skills like following directions, taking turns, learning how to lose, and sitting for a period of time. In addition, if you could play games with dice, it's also a helpful way to practice counting. Any opportunity to practice counting or identifying letters of the alphabet is a huge plus. Also, if you could um, give your child some opportunities to be independent, that would be a huge help as well. You may wanna start practicing things like eating lunch in 20 minutes, opening up snacks, zipping jackets, and tying shoes. Hi, this is Mrs. Moreau. Communication between the classroom and families is important. And one of the primary ways we communicate with families about what is happening in the classroom is Seesaw. This is an online portfolio where students upload their work for you to see. It also allows teachers to share information with families. And it has become invaluable this year with remote learning. You'll be invited to join Seesaw at the beginning of the year from your child's teacher. There are two main things you can do to help your kindergartner have the best day of learning. The first is to make sure they have plenty of sleep. It is recommended for five and six year olds to have 10 to 12 hours per day. The second way is to start the day with a healthy breakfast. We do encourage bringing a water bottle daily as well as a healthy snack. Kindergarten is a wonderful place to be and we are excited to spend the year with your children. We'll be sending you an email this summer outlining some of the things you can do to help. Until then, enjoy your summer and we are looking forward to seeing you in the fall. In our final slide, I just wanted to share with you our home and school president, Natalie Hartzell. You will be hearing more about home and school in the upcoming months as we get closer to the start of school. But Natalie usually takes this time to tell you about all the volunteer opportunities that you'll have at Ellsworth School. And finally, we wanna thank you for listening to this presentation. We hope that this has helped to answer some of your questions, but certainly if you have any other questions, please feel free to email us. Now our kindergarten teachers gave you their email previously, in a slide, but this is also my email and Mrs. McCabe's email if you have any health concerns. So again, thank you for being here and we look forward to seeing you later this year.